Hi there, Mr. Leatherwood. And Mrs. Weeks. And this week we're talking about estimation, and specifically today we're going to talk about estimation using rounding. Right. Yes. So we have an example here. Round 34,563 to the nearest hundred. So we both thought it was important for us to figure out why, or I guess a better grasp of what we round. Mm -hmm. We're traditionally, I think we give kiddos some rules and we don't really give them a reason why. So we're going to start with a number line. Number lines are always very helpful to me. Personally. I like that. And it's a big open one, so yes. we'll be able to see. We're only going to have two numbers. So we're doing the nearest hundred. So I'm going to do 34,500. Maybe would... we could underline, too, where the hundred is. Okay. So that gives them nice, good practice for identifying the place in the number, too. So that's okay. perfect. And why you did, then, the 34,500. I, I chose it because it's 500, so I'm going to go lower than our number. Okay. And then our next one up would be 34,600. Perfect. Okay, because we know, I think any, I think when we look at that, we know that the 500 is 563 is between 500 and 600. Perfect, and that's what we are rounding. We're looking yep. just at the hundreds, so they don't really need to worry about that 34,000 part. Right. They're just looking specifically at that 500. Yeah, and then another thing that we most most of us know pretty well is that if we go directly in half of 34,500 and 34,600, we can do. 34,550. Right. Right, that would be right in the middle. And that's those practice knowing that 50 is half of the 100, just like 5 is half of 10, or 500 is half of 1,000. Right. So that's good practice. And so then it's very easy. We don't have to be exact, but we could say 34,563 is somewhere in between 34,550 and 34,600. That's right. So if we wanted to, we could say this right here is our number, 34,563. And this would help us in rounding because now we know that it's a little bit closer to 34,600. Absolutely. So we know eventually our answer is going to be this, 34,600. Okay. Right. Now thinking of it from a rules per perspective, excuse me, so we have our number 34,563. We don't want to draw a number line every single time we Absolutely. Round. So we do we do want an algorithm or a rule for doing this. So our rule is we're going to start by looking at our hundreds place, our number that we're rounding, just like we did up here at the top. But then we're going to look at the next lowest place value. So in this case, it would be the tens ten, place. Tens place. Okay. Now the rule is if it's five or greater, so five or greater. I need better handwriting. I think it's perfect. If it's five or greater, we're going to bump it up, right? That's right. Okay, it's going to round up. So we can do round up. And if it's four or less, this would be the other part of the rule, mm -hmm. four or less. I don't like to say round down. I think No, because I think that means they think they're going to change a number. And in this case, when rounding, we don't change a number. It either stays the same or it goes up. Yeah, so I'm going to say stays same. Perfect. Because that can be very confusing. I still have high school students that will do that because their teacher taught them the exactly. wrong thing. So since the 6 is greater than 5, it's 5 or greater, we're going to round up. So again, just like earlier, we're going to get 34,000, which doesn't change whatsoever. We're going to change that 5 to a 6, and everything to the right, the tens place, the ones place, are all going to be zeros. So we're going to get that same answer, 34,600. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Want to give them a couple examples? I think so. All right, let's they try that. do some work at home. There you go. All right, so here's a couple examples for you. Okay. Round 53,345 to the 10,000 place. And then the second one, round 19,678 to the nearest thousand. Perfect. Would you say the purple one is a challenge? The purple is a challenge. Let's see if we can stump some people. Okay. I always like that. All right. So if you would, pause the video, uh, complete these on a piece of paper or whatever, and then come back and we'll teach you how to do the solution. Okay. So round 53,345 to the nearest 10,000 place. So let's do like we did earlier. We could draw a number line, but again, we don't want to do that for these oh. bigger numbers. So 10,000 place. So that's going to be this digit right here. Mm -hmm. right? 
we want to look next to the next lowest place value, which is going to be a 3. So if we look at our rules down here, there's our pretty rules. It says 4 or less, it stays the same. So that means that our 5 is going to stay the same, right? Right. So what does everything else to the right turn into? Everything else is going to be zeros. Zeros. As we're rounding, we're making these nice numbers. Perfect. There you go. To the nearest. And they're going to get better at this because when I hear fifty-three thousand, I always think that's much closer to fifty thousand than it really is to sixty thousand. Yeah. So they're going to get better at hearing these numbers and knowing what they sit closer to. So, Definitely. nice job. Thanks. The next one, round 19,678 to the nearest thousand. So the nearest thousand would be, we're looking at the thousand place, so the oh, nine. Oh, and this was tricky. Let's All see right. if we can, we stump some people All with right. this one. So we got to look up, or look down, excuse me, to the next place value, which is a six. Mm -hmm. And according to our rule, five or greater, it rounds up. So the nine needs to round up to... Uh-oh. This is where it's tricky. I know. So the 9 is going to go up to a 10. Well, that also changes mm -hmm. the the 10,000s place. That's right, because so, we added another 1,000. So now we've kind of pushed that 10,000s place up. So it's not all, not 19,000s. Now we have 20,000s. That's 20, right. 000. That's right. I right. wonder how many people got stumped on no that. No kidding. And then everything else to the right is going to turn to zeros. Zeros. So our answer is then going to be 19,678 to the nearest thousand is 20,000. Exactly. Very good job. And again, they're going to get used to hearing those numbers and knowing that, you know, it really does sound like 19,000 is going to be closer to 20,000, okay. you know, so they're going to get better. That's great. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye.